And we're back on The Fowler Show. We're here to inform you, to empower you, and to help you get your voice back. This show is no different. In the first story for you, baboon syndrome. Baboon syndrome. Baboon syndrome. I thought if I said it a couple times, it'd go over better. I, I don't know. It's an unusual complication of antibiotics. So if you take antibiotics, then you have this unusual reaction to having taken the antibiotics. But it's manifested itself in a case in London. And the reason why it is called baboon syndrome is because the rash on the patient's buttocks resembles the red hindquarters of some monkeys, also known as baboons. I like, I get, I like you like that, right? So in this particular story, the individual um, that we're talking about, this happened... Um, on November 28th, and it's in the journal, it's in the journal BMJ case report, where an individual um, at a hospital um, in Switzerland, no, actually, excuse me, he was in London, um, uh, or the United Kingdom, rather, at a hospital there. He went in there, he got sick, he was, you know, he had tonsillitis, and so they gave him some antibiotics. He then reacted to the antibiotics, and he started to, you know, break out in hives, he couldn't talk. So they gave him another set of antibiotics. But by that time, the baboon syndrome had already taken effect. And there was rashes over his groin, his inner elbow. Um, and they assumed the reaction was to the pen penicillin. So the doctors changed his antibiotics to another class. But yet still, he still had this baboon syndrome. Um, and they had to take some skin tissue to see what was really going down. Was it a flesh-eating bacteria? Or was it indeed... Baboon syndrome. They came to find out that it was baboon syndrome. Um, he was in the hospital for 11 days. Um, he's now out and at home recovering. But exposure to penicillin, nickel, or mercury are the most common causes of baboon syndrome. But it has only been linked um, to certain heartburn drugs, biological agents, and chemotherapy. The syndrome. But it's also linked to penicillin. So... You know, hopefully you don't contract baboon syndrome, but if you do, go to the, go to the doctor, call 911, stop watching this YouTube video, and call 911 right now.